Hey guys, in this video I wanted to show you two different ways that you can put your own images into these MacBook Pro mockups. So all of these images use smart objects, which makes inserting your own graphics really easy. The first way that I'm going to show you is using a clipping mask. So what I've done is I've already taken a screenshot of my design deals and I'm going to select it and copy it and go back over into my document and I'm going to paste it in just on top of this right screen layer and I'll move it over to the screen and resize it so it covers the entire screen and obviously you'll notice that it's not cropped off at the edges so it doesn't look like it's actually in the screen but all I have to do is come over here to the layers palette and right click and click create clipping mask now you'll see that it crops off the edges perfectly and it looks like it's actually in the screen and what it does is uses this layer information beneath the image that I've pasted to crop it off. So I'm going to try the same thing over here on this left side screen and we'll see what happens. So I'm going to paste that image in, resize it to cover the entire screen, and right click and create clipping mask. And you'll notice that it crops off properly, but it doesn't look right and that's because the perspective is completely off. So there's two ways to fix that. One of them is you can select that layer, you can click the selection box, right click and hit distort, and then you would have to basically move each of these corners manually to line up with the screen. And it's not very time consuming and it looks correct, but it's a more destructive way of editing when compared to using the actual smart objects. So I'm gonna delete that layer and now all I have to do is select the layer that is that screen on the left, double click it which opens up a new document as a smart object and paste my image in, resize it to fit and hit save. So when I close that you'll see that Photoshop has automatically put that in there and since these are all smart objects the perspective looks correct because it's already aligned to that screen. So I hope that helps you guys learn how to use smart objects and clipping masks a little better. Make sure you grab this week's deal, and I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>